So legendary late night We bet The legendary Bat Boy, Bat's Ball Legendary. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Episode 8, ladies and gentlemen. I bet you didn't think this one was coming. But, like I said, 10 episodes. We've got two more left after this one. And then I'm kicking off season two in a brand new location, brand new studio, brand new everything. But before we get to that, let's get to this. My next guest, ladies and gentlemen, not only is the protector of the mountainside or the preserver of the slopes, he is not only just a member of the uh, National Ski Patrol, ladies and gentlemen, he is the National Ski Patrol. Put your hands together for my next guest, Mr. Thomas Hedwall! Yeah, National Ski Patrol! Anybody <laughs> hurt? Huh? No? Alright, let's do it! You know, like snowboarding is down the time, you know, uh, but basically what it comes down to is I got a gnarly ski pole in my eye one time, went completely blind. Uh, so basically now, it's only snowboard. Well, fair enough. Um, well then, tell me uh, about this snowboard thingy you have back here. This is not only a snowboard, this is the dragon snowboard, as you oh. can see. What does it have, some kind of crazy dragon powers or something? Yes, this is the latest model, it's actually... It's got a crazy feature, man. It's actually, you can hit a button while going and it'll breathe fire and melt the snow. Like wow. you need to go faster or something like that. Yeah, you know? yeah. But uh, skis, yeah, you know, I'm in the new times, man. You know, no more skis, dude. It's all about going. Right, kind of like the James Bond of the ski patrol, man. Sure. <laughs> cool, well, man. Well, hmm. So it runs in the family, I take it. Well, uh, who was the first? Who was the first? Yeah. Oh, man, in the family? Yeah, in the family. Great great grandpa Harry Jack, man. He was awesome, dude. He was oh, he was way cool. He was actually a pioneer in his day for ski patrol. He started the association, man. Well, tell me. Tell me some of the mountain ranges and things of that sort that you guys have patrolled over the generations you've been around. Oh man, Mount Fuji, uh, Mount Olympus, big Olympus Mons, dude, it's been crazy. Actually, uh, Manhorn at Disneyland, it's it pretty crazy there sometimes. Yeah, I've been all over the place. Oh. Hawaii, the big island, they got snow there, believe it or not. Yeah, but right now I'm actually doing a high mountain, so it's pretty cool. Well, uh, taking it, it's uh, midsummer right now. Uh, how is the snow up in high mountain? <laughs> snow kind of sucks, but it's cool, man, it's cool. Well, what about drinking and boarding? Uh, that's gotta be rough. Uh, I mean, uh, I mean how, how are you gonna hold on to your beer when you're when you're ripping down the course, busting your tail whip, flip dingies, and, 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 and high high wacky noodles? Oh, I mean, you gotta explain to me this whole drinking and boarding thing. I mean, how, how's it work? You gotta get a beer in your one hand, you got your cigar in your other hand, you got your girdle in your other hand. I mean, how, how can drinking and boarding really work for me? Drinking and boarding, it just doesn't mix, man. But if you're gonna do it, okay, this is how you do it. You take your first run, stop, have two beers. Your second run, stop and have two shots. And then you're golden, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. all right. Well, okay, I like that, I like that. Well, uh, what about those of us who like to uh, shred the dimensions on our psychedelic snowboard? You uh, got any tips for that? I don't know, man. It's, you know, it's cool, though, man. It's cool. It's hard, it's hard. It's you know, but it's all right. Okay. Well, with all the years spent on the slopes, uh, I'm sure you see some pretty wild stuff. And um, aside from the wild party mountain surfers that you probably usually deal with, um, what about wild animal encounters? Anything like that? Yeah, it's been a couple of times. Uh, actually, last week, just took out a polar bear. He was trying to attack a guest. No big deal. I had it. But actually, you know, the craziest thing was, man, dude, last week, this guy, he was doing this crazy backside cap 270 off a double kink rail. I'm talking down, flat, down to flat, up. Oh, dude, he was crazy, man. But towards the end, he just totally wu tanged it. It was just, it was a botchery of all that is man, you know what I mean? Uh. Okay, well, speaking of wild snowside attractions, uh, what about them snow bunnies? Uh, where's a good place to be uh, hunting some wabbits? 
<laughs> there is definitely some hot ones down here in SoCal right now, though, man. Blow a couple of those. This place I'm working at right now, man, they got this tree that when the chicks are going up the lift, you know, they're just, like, throwing their underwear and their bras into this tree. Whoa. But it's kind of like, you know, like, why are you trashing my mountain, man? So every spring, I just end up cleaning up the tree, and now I got them all in my room just kind of hanging off the ceiling. It's pretty cool, man. No, it's pretty cool. Nice. Last week, I met this snow buddy, man. Whoa, dude. She's been there every day since, man. I really am looking forward to doing a backside rodeo off of her backside kicker. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. nice. Yeah. <laughs> Something, something's coming in uh, apparently on your radio there. Dude, we have a 1042 on the double diamond, man. This guy totally pulled the sunny bono, dude. You got to hurry up down here. Yeah, yeah, this is 569. I'm in route. Come on, Bats. We got emergency on the hill, man. We got to go. Come well, on. I, I said I, I, don't, I don't do this. No, I, man. I don't, I don't care, man. No, I need additional personnel for this. We got to go. Let's go. Come on, man. Okay. Um, I guess uh, I guess we're, we're heading to the mountaintop. And, uh, Come on, we're man. Heading, we're going to go save some people. All right. So, um, we'll be right back with you. Actually, at the bottom, but we still got to go up to the top first, all right? Oh, okay, I understand. We have this stuff we got to do, but I'm still trying to figure out why we got to go to the top of the mountain first. Well, no, I mean, because we got to shred that Narnar, bro. <laughs> Good job. Good job. All right, man. This is my domain, bro. The report was that he was down there, down the double diamond, right? Down this? Yeah, bro. He's right down there, man. You ready for these bats? Uh. Shaw, man, come on. Shaw, let's stretch the nar, nar bro. Come on, man. Yeah. All right, Bats, he's down there, man. Oh, man. Oh, 